Hey, what's going on, folks? Clutch here, and you're into your farm sim weekend update. I'm still fighting it a little bit here. I'm not gonna lie. I apologize for the uh, the nasally voice. It it is what it is this week. And of course, guys, if it's your first time in, if it's the first time catching us, and just happened to be stopping by, thanks for joining me today. Of course, we do live streams, we do mod reviews, map reviews, let's plays. You think of it, farm sim related. You got it on this channel, so make sure you guys go down to the bottom, click that big red button if it's still red, and subscribe so you don't miss anything going on here. So this week we have the second DLC that's been somewhat announced for Farming Simulator 22. We're going to look at what Giants has talked about there. We also got some more fact sheets for a free DLC of sorts coming to Farming Simulator 22. And as well, we've got new mods and a new interesting information on Farm Sim 19. Who would have thought? So first things first, and maybe the biggest announcement of the big, the biggest piece of news of the week is the Twitter post that Giants put out teasing a new brand now there's been lots of speculation on this it's a bit of a teaser they won't tell us what the brand is and they've given us some cryptic information so just judging by what the information says that we know about there's two three things that we can kind of infer from from what they've shown us both either in the twitter post or on the video that's been released well the twitter post itself has a bunch of numbers some binary code and those are roughly translated into T minus seven. So everyone's kind of saying, well, is that seven days? Are we going to find out more in seven days? Of course, a T7 is a new Holland brand equipment, but that's not a new type of brand into, the, into farming simulator. So no one's thinking that at least. Now, as for the pixelated picture that they've also posted. Now, I've seen a lot of people post some various, various tractors that are kind of overlaid on top of it. The closest one anyone's been able to see so far is Kubota. Don't know if it's true or not. I, there are some very interesting aspects that only are seen on Kubotas for the most part. So it's, it could very well be possible. And on top of that, the video they released, there's a bunch of just slogans that are strewn across the streams. Uh, the screen, there's a whole bunch of them and it's always for something, for farming, for future, for life, blah, 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 for farming. Um, ironically enough, the slogan for Kubota itself is for earth, for life. So... I think speculation aside, it looks like Kubota is coming to Farming Simulator 22. That's right. You heard it. Kubota, Farming Simulator 22. I'm calling it. It's got to be. There's no other options. I don't see what else could possibly be. Fingers crossed. I really hope this is right. So on top of that bombshell of, of new equipment, new brand to Farming Simulator 22, they've also released a fact sheet on some new equipment coming to Farm Sim 22 for free and coming soon. That's all we know right now. So the fact sheets included a few different pieces of equipment. We have the Agri Westfield MKX 1394 auger, the uh, West Steel flat bottom bin. We got a Sentinel garage, another garage building, a very nice looking shop there. We've got uh, a Batco BCX 1549. That there's a smaller auger, a midsize auger. We've got a smooth wall bin, the West Steel um, smooth wall bin. We've got the Westfield STX 1051 auger. That's a larger auger, of course. And then once again, we got the West Steel hopper bin. You'll notice that those hopper bins, they are a uh, load unload from the bottom. No other ideas on if you can just pull up beside them and unload without the augers, but looks like you might have to use augers for all these bins, which will up the realism for sure. And moving on to an interesting piece and maybe our last piece of news for Farming Simulator 19. They've announced they'll be releasing an ambassador edition for Farming Simulator 19. So what does this include? Well, it includes everything that wasn't from Farming Simulator 19. Every piece of DLC that was in Farming Sim 19 is coming in one package now. So you're going to get, of course, the base game. You're going to get the Platinum Expansion, Alpine Farming Expansion, Anderson Group, the Cavern Line of Icon Equipment Group, the Granny Equipment Pack, the John Deere Cotton Pack, as well as the Borgo DLC and the Rotney Pack. So you're going to get absolutely everything that was released in the ambassador edition is going to come in a two disc set it's available for all platforms this is kind of the last hurrah for farming simulator 19 if there's to be a gift for someone who has never gone into it it's going to be one low price we'll have more information on pricing hopefully in the next couple days here next week or so and uh, june 21st is the release on this bad boy now as far as modding news goes there's been well a couple of bigger name mods unfortunately this week that have failed testing the tlx 3500 unfortunately failed testing on its go through Hopefully it will be resubmitted and submitted and released next week. Uh, same with Stone Valley. Stone Valley for Farm Sim 22 is in the same boat on that. It looks like we've got an update out for that one already. Hopefully that's being sent back in for testing once again. On the bright side, Meadow Grove is being worked on by Nathan once again. Uh, Farm Sim 19 map being brought forward to Farm Sim 22. And NMC, North Modding Company, says 
They're back in the game and gonna be producing some mods for Farming Simulator 22 as well. So moving on into mods that have been released in the last little bit here for Farm Simulator 22. Let's start off with stuff in the Mod Hub, of course, mostly all platform stuff, I believe I'm thinking about this week. Yeah, everything we're talking about is all platform, which is kind of nice. Um, Saturday mods, the Banderante pack, Banderante, I believe I said that right. A whole pack of, of mods released. You've got front end loaders, you've got cultivators, you've got an auger wagon, you've got a sprayer. You've got everything on this. Uh, fantastic pack that uh, just comes out on the weekend. I'd love to see that. Of course, the International 86 from Julian F. Modding was released. Definitely get your mitts on that fantastic old school International tractor. Case Puma by Steve's Mods. We got the Versatile Delta track, also done by Julian F. The John Deere 7810 Row Crop by JHHG. I love this particular tractor, and this one's done properly. I love that. The Echo Ideal from the LS Modding team. The Echo Harvester pack. We've got the Seed Runner from Schultz, as well as a Liquid Transport Sprayer Pack. You can kind of mix and match these and strap them down. It's like you make your own, your own sprayer support vehicle. Love this idea. This is very cool. And lastly, brand new maps this week. Well, one of the bigger maps, of course. The Western Wilds by Alien Jim. Fantastic new map from him. Kind of down the same breath as No Man's Land. You might remember that map from Farm Sim 19. And of course, the latest, the first map for Farm Sim 22 that was released as a mod. But... It's an update. Now we have a Western Wild, which is just takes that, that map, that concept of No Man's Land, and just puts it to another degree. So go check that map out for sure. The John Deere 1075 Hay Wagon, which uh, allows you to pick up those small little bales. Auto load those small little bales. Love that. Of course, as well, the Mobile Wood Selling Point by Joss. Uh, perfect mod for getting rid of wood easily because... We all love to transport wood, but let's be honest, this one makes life a lot easier for that. And moving over to the PC side of the mod hub, PC only mods. Now, I'm only going to talk about one mod this week. By far, in my personal opinion, the biggest mod to be released this week. And, and I mean, there's a lot of good mods this week, but in my, my humble opinion, this mod was the biggest. And you guys know what I'm talking about, right? I mean, is there is there anything better than follow me? It was the last mod I was waiting for, follow me. For those who have not done follow me before, what it does is it basically allows you to, when you're driving around in any kind of equipment, it will put breadcrumbs down behind you. You won't see them, but you'll be there. You'll be able to jump into another piece of equipment and tell it to follow whatever equipment was in front of that. So it'll fit, pick up the path of the equipment and just follow it. So this works great for doing like haying or any kind of job where you need to run multiple pieces of equipment down the same area, essentially. So... You can run them offset. You can run them. You can change the distance. Fairly simple controls, and it works very, very well. So glad to see Follow Me has finally made its way to Farming Simulator 22. It's one of my favorite mods from Farm Sim 19, Farm Sim 17. Even absolutely love this mod, and so glad to see that Decker has managed to uh, get this out in Farm Sim 22. My top mod of the week for sure. Now, as far as offsite mods, your third-party Farming Simulator 22 mods go for PC. Well, we've got two map. We've got one update and one brand new map. So first of all, Green Valley, Nebraska version two has been released by DJ Modding. So make sure you guys go over to the mod network. It's been released on the mod network. Go check that out. Secondly, secondly, Middleburg, New York 4X has been released by Nitro Dad Modding as of time of this video, actually. So go check out the brand new Middleburg, New York map by Nitro Dad Modding. We've got a review of that map that just went up as well. Go check out the video. I'll make sure I put a card up top right. There you go. Go check out that video. Uh, it's a fantastic map. You're going to love that. If you've played any of Nitro Dad's maps before, you guys know what you're in for. It's a fantastic map. Released for, for PC only, of course. 4X map, Middleburg, New York. So much to look at on that map. So good. Now, looking back from our previous, uh, our previous poll, actually, in our last weekend update, looking back at all of the responses, and you guys, well, the majority of the people that have watched the videos here, or started Farming Simulator from Farm Sim 19, which is kind of what I expected. But what I didn't expect was the number two slot on that was Farming Sim 13 or before. There's that many of you that watched or played Farming Simulator before Farming Sim 13 or Farming Sim before that, basically. That's kind of blowing my mind a little bit. I did not expect to see that many of you be that far down the path. And the smallest number was actually Farm Sim 17. That That's where... I just, I thought Farm Sim 17 was a jumping off point for a lot more people. So that's an interesting poll. I was kind of caught off guard there, to be honest with you guys. And my question for the week for you guys, of course, once again, what would you rather have? What would you rather have in Farming Simulator? More variety in crops. So thinking like alfalfas, maybe some clover. I don't know, peanuts again? 
<laughs> do we need to go down that role? Or would you rather have more variety in livestock? So thinking maybe goats, I don't know, ducks, uh, maybe baby cows. I don't know. So more variety in livestock, more variety in, in the crops. Let me know. Vote down in the poll down below in the description. Uh, just click on the link and it'll vote. It'll lodge your vote for you. I'm curious to see what you guys think on that one. Thanks to all the new members. If you've been gifted a membership, if you were new to the channel, we've got a couple of new gifted members that have been released thanks to YouTube allowing us to gift members now on the channel. So if you're a new member, well, welcome in and cheers to you guys who were gifting all these memberships. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you. And uh, we'll be back again next week with the, the weekend update, of course. We'll have some live streams planned this week. So maybe come join us, come hang out. It should be a good time. Anyways, folks, have a great weekend and I will catch you next time. This is Clutch. Um, go Flames, go. There, there, that, that's what I'm looking for.